Hey guys, we're back again with another video, and first thing I'm going to show you guys is we did by uh, Felzuli Gulam, um, one of my favorite fullbacks in real life, and he's going to fit into our Serie A team very well. I was a little bit biased, as in, you know, he does play for Napoli, but uh, that's the team we are going to use for this episode as well. Actually, I'll show you some of the changes we make, um, but let me know how you guys want me to film this series, record it, um, how you want me to edit it. Uh, what players you guys want me to get, really anything about this series, up to you guys. I'm just playing it and letting you guys see how I do. This is the team we go into the first game with, and here is the team we play against in the first game. And um, it's actually a very decent looking team, especially this early on in the game. I mean, he has Rakitic on loan. Uh, I'm, he has Correa up top. I'm not sure if he's a cam or striker in this game, but I've seen him at striker a few times already, so I'm thinking he might be at striker. And in the third minute of his debut, Gulam, basically, he should get an assist for this. He causes the goalie to parry it right to our, uh, to our right mid, and then we get an easy goal, starting off the episode very well. Nothing happens until the 60th minute, and then I get a really stupid penalty. I thought that was a pretty good challenge, but then when I watched the replay, I really did take him out. Um, and he gives the penalty to Rodrigo, and of course he's going to finish the penalty. Although penalties this year are much easier to save, in my opinion. I just haven't saved one yet, if that makes any sense. And then a beautiful long shot from Diviabi. And I, he's going to be my starting camp for a while uh, for my Bundesliga team, because that was a stunning, stunning long shot. And I even let you guys see the celebration, just because I love those new camera celebrations. Some of them are so cool. Uh, he does come back and score. Tie it up. That's how the game would end. I feel like I outplayed him really badly but we will take a tie as we still have not lost yet so that's good enough for me um we are three two and oh with 11 points and five games remaining to get one point for that title so we're obviously going to go for it in this last game and uh here you can see we make a few changes again and uh and yeah basically this is the team we come up end up using i do need a Serie A center back. I ended up buying a goalkeeper that I'll show you guys in the next episode, but I need a center back to use, so let me know who you think I should use. And in this one, we come against Vieri and a mostly gold team. I mean, the team doesn't look very good, even though it is gold, but playing against legends is not that fun. But Icardi does show what he's worth right here. Um, pretty early on, third minute, I believe, he scores, dribbling by his whole defense. And then we get another goal really quickly right after, uh, like 20 minutes after. And it's just some nice build-up play, and then Icardi breaks through again, and a perfect, perfect opportunity to score, but he takes us out. So of course I give the shot to Icardi, who's going to score again with a perfect penalty. And I'm actually loving him at striker, so I'm really happy I bought him, especially since he was not that expensive. Um, and then a beautiful back heel by uh, De Guzman. And that puts us in the lead, and we do end up winning the title in this episode because he rage quits. Uh, so yeah, let me know what players you guys think I should get, and if you want me to edit the series any differently, let me know. We have 2,300 coins to spend on some Serie A players. So yeah, let me know in the comments who you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.